friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So let's get open for business, and let's wake up those football gods. Good morning, guys. I know it's extra early this morning. It's about 6 a.m., and you know the work never ends, and some days you've got to just get up and get out and get going early and that's one of these days today i've got to get down the road so it is about 6 a.m and i'm doing this before i hit the road just trying to make sure that you're up to speed unfortunately the internet the wi-fi signal the cell signal is not real good where i'm headed so it takes a long time to get everything updated so that's why i do one extra early and we'll kick it off at about eight o'clock in the morning we'll premiere it then so, for the Cowboys today, it is hump day. It is Wednesday. It is the first day they get back out on the field. And after last week being the week from hell, let, let's be clear now. Last week was terrible because we had lost Michael Gallup. We found out that Eliel Collins was being suspended for missing seven drug tests. We found out Randy Gregory ended up having COVID and being lost in that Demarcus Lawrence ended up breaking his foot, having surgery, of course, last week in practice. Not a game now, not a game. We talking about practice. And unfortunately, some of those guys are going to be gone for a little bit. Uh, we do know that Randy Gregory is back uh, off of the COVID list, which definitely is going to help, of course, uh, now that we have one of our defensive ends back, although we found a great replacement and a budding star in Micah Parsons. Uh, who filled in and literally can play so many different positions. He's basically your X-Man. He is there to do whatever you need and cannot stand to come off of the field. Um, today, this morning, uh, before practice, um, Amari Cooper, who apparently hurt his ribs against Tampa Bay and, of course, played last week, um, has sore ribs the thought is that he's going to be okay, but that is the biggest concern that we have going into today's practice as well as going into. Thus far, knock on wood, and let's pray it stays that way for those stinking eagles on Monday that we do not have another week like we just had. Um, interesting thing for the Cowboys because, of course, <clears throat> we had just gotten Zach Martin back last week. Zach Martin has had the highest pro football focus offensive grade in the NFL this year. That's freaking amazing that our offensive guard, who missed the first game with COVID, came back the following week and played lights out. Um, second, a person that we have that's rated really high on that list is, for second-year players, is C.D. C.D. Lamb ended up, ranking third in second-year players. The highest-graded second-year player on that list is one Jalen Hurts, who we actually play this week. And I'll be honest with you, in talking with Bird Gang uh, 31 yesterday, we did a joint live stream together. He's a little bit in la-la land because he thinks he's got the better wide receivers, offensive line, and running backs. I also believe they're going to go 12-5 and five, um, and gets the win. I, I'm not... Hey, I, I see the Cowboys have a good chance. They're playing at home. Um, I think they have some spots that are better than them. Although he, he was borderline on the quarterback situation. He thinks he's got a better quarter. But but regardless of that, we'll see what happens on Monday night. I'm not in the prediction of saying we go into the playoffs. And I'm not into that now. I'm not. One game at a time. We'll see how it goes. We'll be humble going into this. And if we get the victory, we get the victory. Um. I am surprised at how good Hertz was actually last week. He was launching the football and had the receiver not gone out of bounds. You know, that would have been a huge 92-yard touchdown play. But unfortunately, he did go out of bounds. Um, he believes that, uh, of course, that his team is just fantastic. But we got plenty of time to deal with that. One other thing, though, is has anybody seen Philly 500? I, I, I've been, I, I don't know where he is. I've been expecting to get bitch slapped by Philly 500. I've been like just ready to duck. But I haven't seen him. Can somebody check on him and make sure he's okay? 
Um, I, I mean, all jokes aside, I'm being serious about this because this is Cowboys Eagles week and it's hump day and I have yet to see a hatchet job. I mean, you'll remember a few weeks ago, he did one on me and Bad Dog. I, I don't know what's going on. But back to the Cowboys. Um, when you're an offensive lineman, as an offensive lineman, it's one of those positions that your name doesn't get called unless you do something wrong. You give up a sack, and your quarterback gets killed, or you have a holding penalty or an offsides. It's one of those things that when you do your job, nobody notices and nobody says anything. You know, of course, offensive linemen, they'll pat you on the back. And the quarterback, of course, you know, he'll, he'll take you out to dinner and maybe buy you a little gift or something like that. But for the most part, you don't get any love. And I must say that one Terrence Steele, Terrence Steele, Man of Steel, I'm going to call him Man of Steel this week. Terrence Steele played outstanding. We had a lot of people that were like, oh, my God, if Terrence Steele ever plays again, oh, no, oh, hell, oh, Dak's going to get planted in the field. He's going against Joey Bosa? In Joey Bosa's career, only, I think, 12 times, no, no, sorry, nine times has it ever happened that he has gone without a sack, a quarterback hit, or pressure. He got nothing. Nada. Zero. Nil. Didn't sniff anywhere close to Dak Prescott. And that was Terrence Steele. And I would actually say, when you think about what's happened, that Zach Martin missed the first game, and we had Connor McGovern come in and play lights out. And then we turned around, and we lose Lyle Collins now for five weeks. And we have Terrence Steele come in and step in and play lights out. That all of a sudden you have to look at our offensive line and say, our offensive line couldn't be back. That now our weakest link is our center in Tyler Badish. And that we have some backups that are capable. You know, four more games, we get Lyle Collins back. That's going to bode well for the length of the season. And make no mistakes about it. This season is longer than any other season ever. 17 games. That is a marathon, and you will lose players left and right. The fact that we have those guys that can fill in is going to be a great thing. And I want to recognize Terrence Steele as well as Connor McGovern, two young guys, and make it clear. uh, Connor McGovern, this is his third season. Uh, Terrence Steele, this is his second season. This bodes well for us because these aren't first-round draft picks. Like I said, Terrence Steele is a rookie free agent. You got him for nothing. This is good for the future for the Cowboys because, of course, Tyrannosaurus uh, Tyron Smith you know, says he'll be here another three, four years, but there's no guarantee that that's going to be the case. Age has a way of catching up with you. But when you can start putting young guys that are getting educated by the Tyron Smiths, that can start making those plays and learning the system, being brought up the right way, it bodes well for your future. And so I'm feeling good about our offensive line. And we all know when you have an offensive line, you've got one of the best things going for you because offensive line, regardless of them not getting love, they are key to your success. And with that being said, I got to go out here, get this truck loaded with my tools and these doors and get down the road and get my work done. I hope that you all have a wonderful day and we will keep you up to date on the road the best we can. And as always, you know how we roll. I need more coffee. I'll see you.